Okay, um, Barry redid the side door on the B-suite, and so we, I decided to go through and do another video on it. I'm going to talk about the first parts of it. I'm going to let him explain the side door just because it's a new feature. So anyway, um, it's still the same thing. It's got these thumb screws, which I think were an improvement. I like them. But um, I'm only going to show you on one side because it's the same on both sides. Sorry. So you open it. It's got this little hole. It's got a little slide, sorry, slit here. That's meant for using your tweezers to get in there if you're good at doing it. Um, some people can just go in here like that and they can grab out either with their straight, usually they'll use their straight tweezers, grab a, a bee by the wing or by the, the leg. I don't do that. I use a, a um, chopstick, as most of you know, with honey on it, and then I transfer them into containers and use the freezer, and then I put them on tweezers so it's kind of your choice and then when you're locking this I mean you can see when it's when it's flush with the I mean, you can actually feel when it's shut you don't have to go overboard but definitely don't over tighten it it can break the door you know the plex even though we I've said this before we use a high quality plexiglass it's different than some others that are out there I'm sure of it I've seen it anyway and then there's these two containers you can use for feeding. I've discussed this in my videos on YouTube. You can feed with a TP with honey in the dab of honey in the center of it or sugar crates. And um, basically, that's what comes when the Allen stuff. So I'm going to have this comes off. I've discussed this before, but these screws come off and the honeycomb comes out so that you can clean it. And then on the back, the same deal. You can take these screws off and slide the honeycomb out and you can clean the internal chambers and clean the honeycomb. It's kind of nice. And it is the only home that's able to do that. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to have Barry discuss the side door. Or I'm going to all talk while he's doing it. So basically the side door, he made kind of an up and down garage style door for easier entry of bees, you know, loading of bees. So you just put the thing in there and mm -hmm. then you can you can tighten this a little if you want if you're worried about that. What I do when I'm loading bees, so, I mean, I, I never had an issue. You can push it in further if you want. I don't know how far I'm going this time. But you don't need to push it in further. If you ever need something to prop or you feel like you want to, you just put something underneath there. I've never really had a problem, so I just kind of pop it in there and Let's do it. It's thing. Um, if you're using a butterfly net, I've even loaded it inside with inside the butterfly net. So I and one of the large ones. So that feature is on both sides. So um, that's about it. And then if you want to, when you take it out, it just kind of oh, drops. Oh, it just shuts. That's kind of nice. Drops, and that way it'll close faster. Yeah. And just you know, it. you have to let the bees get out. You know, you might want to put something in there to attract them inside. You want to let the bees, I sometimes have to blow on the top of the crate to let bees go out, but just, you know, keep an eye on the other side of it and look and make sure that they've all moved away from the door and then let it go down. It's a learning curve. It is. It, that just tightens there. So, and that's the same way on the other side. I mean, it's, I'm just going to have them flip it so you can see. So that's it. It's the same deal. And so I think it's a nice feature myself. So many people are bothered by placement of bees, and although I like the other door style, I actually think this one's going to end up being superior to it. I don't have any trouble with any of the styles that are out there, so. Or else I still say that the tiny apiary, it's the smallest one that's, I think, 30 something plus shipping, it's like $45 or something like that. Mm -hmm. That one is also, it's the tiny, tiniest tiny apiary, the bee, tiny bee home or whatever it's called, yeah. or all these names. I still say that that's a perfectly fine home. You can even get a couple of them. Shipping should be fairly reasonable. It shouldn't change that much with the quantity of two. And I still say that's a great home. If for starter, it's it might actually be the best thing and just keep your bee amount, you know, lower. You can keep and store bees in crates for I don't know. I've done it for over a week in these crates, so that if I had bees in my tiny apiary and didn't want to mix the two. I just fed them with water. I put water on the top of it for several days. It never caused any problems for me, so I'd recommend you do that. 
um, too, if you're having financial troubles. That's why we made that available. Plus, I think the tiny apiary is cute. Or the tiny bee home, or what, the tiniest bee home. All those are cute. They're nice, and they're, um, like, affordable and effective. They've got a lot of user-friendly features, just like this one does. So, anyway, uh, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.